Hi, I'm Shannon O'Neill, Director of Archives and Special Collections and the History Librarian at Barnard College. The Barnard Collection illuminates what everyday life was like as a young woman, New Yorker and student at an elite college in the early 20th century. Let's take a look. This diary entry illustrates crushing, a way of characterizing same-sex relationships when they were more than friendship and more like courtship. Here Stella is writing about trying to play it cool when she's around her crush, and who can't relate to that? This diary shows Barnard's long queer history, which is so powerful for students today to know about. Sophie was involved in many Barnard activities. She was the historian of her junior class, president of the Barnard YWCA, and a founding member of the New York chapter of Pi Beta Phi. This page illustrates her campus involvement and relationships, including a dance card, love letter, and more. Barnard in the early 1900s had many student rituals and ceremonies, some of them quite elaborate, that were not sanctioned by the college. One series of rituals was called the Mysteries and involved the freshman and sophomore classes. They had an altar, painted their faces, washed their hands with fish, and did a witch's dance. We have documentation of images, but unfortunately, very few descriptions of these rituals, so they remain as secret today as they did over, over a century ago. This is a news article about another Barnard ritual. The class of 1912 marries the class of 1914. The write-up is gendered, yet also is playing with notions of gender at the same time. Clearly, at this time in history, women are not allowed to marry each other, but they're doing it anyway. The news coverage is both patriarchal in its gendered language, yet at the same time radical in mocking a heterosexist concept of marriage. We don't know if Florence supported socialism or just attended an event on socialism and wanted to document it in her scrapbook. This is an interesting page because it shows us that a socialism advocate came to campus, so this was a political issue that students were interested in. Students at Barnard were very involved in the suffragist movement. Eleanor has written down the lyrics of suffragist songs. We don't know if she wrote these herself or just documented the lyrics of songs someone else wrote. To see these images and more, please visit our website at archives.barnard.edu.